Welcome, this is the EOC practice test for Algebra 1 and uh, question, test number 3 I should say, question number 2. Um, that's a 1, 2, 3 scenario going on somewhere. Anyway, which set of numbers is ranged from least to greatest? Now, the easiest thing to do is change them in all into the same form. I tend to prefer decimal form, so I'm going to bring up an emulator here very quickly. Don't worry, TI, I own it. So um, I'm going to convert everything into a, a nice frac a nice decimal form so I can make some comparisons. The first thing I want to do is, of course, turn it on. And after that, um, I'm going to do the square root of 26. And I get 5.099. So I'm going to write underneath it somewhere on the bottom 5.099. Nine, nine. That way I have some reference point. These two are already in decimal form, so I just need to deal with 125 over 24. And you can do that as a division if you want, or you can punch it in as a fraction. If you get alpha and y equals on the TA to 4 plus, your uh, fraction menu comes up and you just convert it. But I'm just going to do the division instead, save myself a little time. Uh, for this one, I need to write down 5.208. Now, in this type of question, it's important for me to make a vertical list of the numbers and put them in such a way that the decimal points sit on top of each other. 5.2009, 5.099, and 5.208. So now that I have these in some sort of reasonable order, all I have to do is arrange them from least to greatest. Pay very close attention to what they ask you when they give you the test. If they say order greatest to least and you give the least to greatest answer, it's still wrong even though you know how the system works. Now, sometimes they're tricky that way. Now I'm just going to look, I'm going to start column by column. In the left column, uh, if I'm doing the least, I want the smallest number where obviously the 4 would come first. So I'm looking for something that starts out with 4.098 and only two of them do so I can mark these two out. So it's either going to be A or B. Then I need to look in the left column again and they're all the same. So I'm going to go to the second column over. In this case, 5.099 would be my next number. So this is my second number in my little least to greatest scenario, which was the square root of 26. Um, so I haven't made any differentiation yet. Now I need to make a comparison statement between these two numbers. The 5's are the same, the 2's are the same, the zeros are the same. The difference is in the next term, or in the next uh, place value. Here at 0, so I guess this is uh, thousands to place. So I'm a zero here, but eight here. It's important to make sure you write everything down appropriately. So my smallest, or my smaller of the two, would be here, which is uh, my number 5.2009. And finally, that would leave my 5.208, which is 125 over 24. So I'm looking for an answer that starts with 4.098 and ends with my uh, fraction, so I'm going to say that the correct answer for number two is A. When you're taking your test, make sure that they're not being weird and trying to trick you by putting greatest to least or whatever. You just answer their question and you'll be fine. So, good luck.